USB-A versus USB-C. In recent years, devices from laptops to phones seems to be removing their USB-A ports in favour of USB-C, with Apple being a notable example of a company that stubbornly refused to switch their iPhone charging port to USB-C. USB-A is the type of USB that everyone will be familiar with. It's been in use for over 20 years and is found on most devices made before three or four years ago. It's used for connecting memory sticks, other devices and peripherals, just to name a few things. So why are companies switching from USB-A to USB-C? Let's have a look at how they compare. We can see there is a slight difference in how they look, with USB-A having more of a rectangular shape and USB-C having an oval shape. USB-A has to be plugged in the correct way up, whereas USB-C can be plugged in with either side facing up, meaning it's less hassle to plug in. USB-A can only support up to 2.5 watts and 5 volts, whereas USB-C supports a massive 100 watts and 20 volts, meaning it's powerful enough to charge larger devices such as laptops, which is impossible on USB-A. They can only charge smaller devices. Also, charging any device with a USB-C cable will charge much faster than if you use a USB-A cable. Data transfer speed is also a big advantage of USB-C. With USB-A, the max speed is 10 gigabits per second, and with USB-C, this jumps to 40 gigabits per second. If we take the example of a memory stick, your files will move to and from the memory stick four times faster if it's a USB-C memory stick. Both types of USB can be used to transmit video from a device to a monitor using an adapter. However, due to the speed restrictions on USB-A, it can only transmit video at 1080p known as Full HD. USB-C, on the other hand, can transmit video in full 4K, known as Ultra HD, so you'll get far superior video quality from USB-C. In conclusion, there is no real comparison to which is better. USB-C is superior in every way and is fast becoming the standard connector worldwide. Thanks for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing if you found this video useful.